I've been asked about, you know, what do you actually say when you talk to an investor or potential investor? You know, what can you say to convince them to make the investment? Well, anyway, I created this program called the Money Raising Masterclass. It's coming out very soon uh, where I'm going into detail what to say. But basically, I want to give you a little story that, um, you know, happened this week. So if you, you know, think, oh, you need all this technique and all these arguments and, and, you know, if he says this, then you should act like this and so forth, uh, then you're wrong. So, I mean, obviously there's a few things that you can say to, you know, increase your chances, but in general, it's about developing a relationship with your customer. So it's about uh, the likability that you have between each other and the trust. So sometimes it's not just, hey, invest now because you're going to get a discount or you're going to get a better price or this and that. And you make it like a sale. OK, so if but if you if you focus and you spend a lot of time talking about, you know, God, the world and, you know, his hobbies or whatever, and, and, and you develop this this relationship of trust then you don't necessarily need to spend a lot of time trying to sell and convince the the customer of your product because he already trusts you. And that's what I'm trying to establish here. So sometimes it's better to spend time to develop this relationship first. And then all you need is maybe five minutes to talk about the investment and boom, you, you have an investor and there's no objections because usually when you get a lot of a lot of objections it means that the person doesn't trust you now let's say you you went to a doctor okay and you you go to a doctor and you say you know I'm having this problem and the doctor gives you this this type of medicine and and then you you question the, the medicine you say hey yeah but what's inside the medicine and why this and not the other medicine and so forth and and you wouldn't do that because you trust the doctor you trust that the doctor has you know, the, the, the knowledge that based on his education and so forth would give you the best, you know, possible solution for your problem. And it's the same when we, you know, when we don't have that established relationship with our customers and, and we try to just sell them the product, then they're not going to, there's going to be a lot more resistance, so to speak. But if you focus on developing the relationship first and then you invest time into talk about the product, you will see that if the foundation is good, if there's a you know common likability, it's going to be so much easier to convince him to invest because there is a mutual trust uh, already established. So focus on the relationship, focus on building the relationship and trust, and you know find out you know what he wants, how what he you know likes, and so forth. And based on that, you'll be much much more successful. Now. What am I, uh, what's the story from last week? <laughs> so we had this investor who invested maybe, I don't know, probably 10,000 or so, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. And he was already angry. He was dead, uh, like dead in, in, in a way where, you know, there's not much more you could do to kind of convince him. So, um, you know, we gave that contact to one of the um, uh, let's say loaders and the loader is a person who takes an existing client and tries to convince them to reinvest more. And this person is so good, but he focused a lot of time just developing that relationship so that the client, um, agreed to invest a hundred thousand dollars afterwards. So, so you see somebody who you believe is no longer willing or is, you know, the contact's dead, so to speak, uh, can still be, uh, you know, you know, worked with, you can still do something with him if you focus on developing that relationship with the client. So that's my little story. And uh, of course, you know, if, if you have any questions of, you know, how do I raise money? How do I deal with investors? How do I take my company public? Then go to my website, normamaya.com and get some more information. I wish you a great week.